widgets that change their appearance on hovering, a button displaying a loading and success indicator after calling an async function, highly customizable data tables and spreadsheets for all platforms and many other valuable packages released in calendar week 40. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If you're interested in a weekly summary of the latest Flutter and Dart packages, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with calendar week 40. On number 10 is Flutter Event Calendar, which is described as a Gregorian and Jalali event calendar for Flutter with options for changing the style. You get an event calendar widget, which has a lot of attributes. Events are added as a list of event objects to the events attribute. And they have, for example, a title, description and date time. And on the right side here, you can see how this looks like. On number nine is Dialog Floater, an improved implementation of the package Dialog Flow, which is this one, I think. And this one provides you with chatbots. On number 8 is Raygun for Flutter, a Flutter crash reporting provider for Raygun, which is an online service for actionable error crash and performance monitoring. On number 7 is Flutter Query, which seems to be in development and has no documentation. On number 6 is Shadowed Image, which is for creating shadows of the same color scheme as the image. This is what it looks like, so you have the original image and underneath is the shadow which seems to be like a copy of it but with some additional effects like blur and transparency. On number 5 is Dialog for Search, a package in which users can search for an item in a given list. Unfortunately the example code did not work for me, so when I click on something then I have to restart the app in order to do anything else. Number 4 is SyncFusion Flutter PDF Viewer. This is used to display PDF documents seamlessly and efficiently. Features are virtual scrolling, magnification, page navigation, bookmark navigation, themes and localization. The package gives you access to a SF PDF Viewer widget, which is a stateful widget, as you can see here. And with this one you can, for example, display PDFs from the internet. So I took this one from the example and as you can see, we get a pretty nice PDF viewer. On number 3 is Hovering, a new Flutter package to enable the hover effect on Flutter web. This one provides you with a hover widget, a hover container, a hover crossfade widget, a hover animated container and a hover button. The hover widget has three attributes, the child, the hover child and an on hover method. The child is what is displayed by default and this one gets replaced by the hover child as soon as you put your cursor on the object. And the on hover function of course is always triggered whenever you hover over the object as well. So by hovering the hover child with the green color gets displayed and we get a snack bar that says yay I am hovered as you can see in this example. The hover container is like a common container but it has some more attributes like hover height and the hover attributes are the ones that are displayed whenever you hover over it. In this example the width, height and color are replaced by the hover width, the hover height and the hover color as you can see here. Then we have a hover animated container. This is quite similar as the hover container, but here instead of instantly switching, we get a smooth transition from one state to another. The hover crossfade widget works similar as the hover widget because here we again replace one widget with another one, not as in the hover container and hover animated container where we only replace the attributes inside the widget. Here we have two different widgets and the first child of course gets replaced by the second child. As you can see here we get a circle widget which is a replacement for this square. And then we have the hover button. Here we can again use different hover attributes. In this case, we are changing the color from red to black and the text color from black to white. 
as you can see here. On number two of the most liked packages is Future Button and this provides us with customizable material and Cupertino buttons with progress indicators and more. This is useful if you want to run some background tasks when user presses on the button and then show the result of the task. I took the example code from the documentation and there we have two methods, wait for and wait for and fail for simulating HTTP requests for example. So they both took two seconds and the first one returns as a future and the second one results in an exception. So the first button has an on-press method and this one triggers the successful request and then it should show our result. So let's click on the button, we can see a loading indicator and then we can see that the result was successful. As you can see in the second example, we can even change the progress indicator location. Here we're calling the wait for and fail method. So this one results in an exception and we are showing the result. So now let's click on it. And as we can see here, we have this arrow icon. In the third example, we provide an icon, which we can see here, and we have set the show result attribute to false. So now we can see the progress indicator, but we don't see if this was successful or not. And then we have some more examples. We have a future icon button, which has no text. We have a future Cupertino button, which shows another kind of progress indicator. And we have the same one, but this time filled and this one also works like the other ones. And finally, on number one of the most liked packages, we have Editable. This package allows you to create editable tables and spreadsheets with ease, either by providing initial row and column count to display an empty table or use it with predefined rows and column datasets. The features allow you to save edited rows and cells, to customize cell data, to add empty rows, to create empty tables, to customize save buttons and to customize table headers. In the example we have this editable widget that takes columns and rows as a list of maps and then we can set some styling attributes and we can decide if we want to show or hide the save and create button. By clicking on the create button, we can add some rows. We can change the content inside the cells and we can click on this save button, which does nothing at the moment because therefore we have to set an on row saved method. Now let's have a look on the most popular packages. There we have on number 10, MS Auth, which currently has no documentation. On number 9 is TouchBar, a Flutter plugin to interact with the TouchBar of supported models of MacBook Pro, providing dynamic contextual controls. On number 8 is again Flutter Event Calendar. On number 7 is OCG Share, which also has no documentation. On number 6 is Flutter Document Reader Core Full RFID, a regular document reader SDK which allows you to read various kinds of identification documents, passports, driving licenses, ID cards and much more. All processing is performed completely offline on your device and no data leaves your device. On number 5 is Flutter Card I.O. plugin, a Flutter package to use Card I.O. On number 4 is perforated bottom navigation bar, which is a custom and special navigation bar that is capable of holding a big button in it. And this one is user friendly, but is limited to 5 taps. On number 3 is API utils, providing you with simple API utilities to make working with REST APIs easier. On number 2 is Flutter Sound Platform Interface, the Dart interface to Flutter Sound. Unfortunately, there is no documentation or example code. And finally, on number 1 of the most popular packages is Vibration Web, a plugin for handling vibration API on the web. And here again we have no documentation, no example code and even this reference to the web implementation is not working. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you can spare a minute then please leave me a short feedback, subscribe to this channel for more content like this, have a nice day and see you soon.